We're talking about Hurricane Ada, by the way. This is something that came on, um, the, uh, formed over the weekend as a tropical storm and is now a hurricane and rapidly intensifying. It's a major hurricane as of this afternoon, moving west at nine miles per hour in the Caribbean Sea and set to slowly move toward the coast of Honduras and Nicaragua as we get into the next maybe 24 hours or so. Winds now sustained at 120 miles per hour. And look at this, the National Hurricane Center forecast has it becoming possibly a category four before landfall. So unfortunately, there will be very high winds for this part of, again, Nicaragua, northern Nicaragua and into Honduras. Also high storm surge and a lot of rain because you can see that even as it moves over the mountainous terrain here in Central America, America, it will weaken rapidly and could probably be a low pressure, maybe sort of dissipating as we get into Wednesday and Thursday, but it will likely still bring a lot of rain to these areas. What we're thinking for the long term portion of the forecast is that it will weaken a lot and eventually it might emerge whatever's left of it. It's remnants, some low pressure uh, into the northwestern Caribbean Sea again by this weekend. So let me just point out, though, this is going to be a long time. It's just Monday and we're talking about Saturday that it might reemerge in the Caribbean Sea. So we have a long time to watch it and see what happens. We'll see whether it tries to get into the southern Gulf, maybe going toward Cuba, maybe into the western. Atlantic. It's just a little too early to say, but just looking, for example, at the Euro model, it has it kind of hovering here in the Caribbean Sea all the way from the weekend through next Wednesday, which is really too far out to kind of speculate exactly what will happen. But again, we'll be talking about Ada or whatever emerges from Ada for some time. We have made it to Ada now. The next name is Theta and then Iota. I don't want to talk about that. Hopefully we don't get there. And just a little something, a little tidbit, 277 years ago, there was a hurricane that slammed into the American colonies over on the East Coast on this day, November 2nd, 1743. It was the same night as a lunar eclipse. So it's called the Eclipse Hurricane. And it's interesting because it was either a late season hurricane or maybe a nor'easter and it compelled Benjamin Franklin to really get into tracking a lot of data on storms. And so that's kind of what helped to create uh, Benjamin Franklin's uh, detailed analyses of where the storms were moving across uh, the northern hemisphere. So interesting little tidbit there. So we do 